Hello, this is Vernon. I'm incredibly excited to share with you the story of an amazingly courageous woman, Dawn. She's one of my clients who got a chance to, through our work, change a few habits and meet her soulmate. And the reason why I'm sharing this story with you is because I want to instill in you, as a woman, the power of connecting to three specific forces. Number one is the force of openness, how you approach the world, how you approach men. Number two, vulnerability. How much of your true self are you letting shine? through your smile, through your walk, through your talk, through listening to someone, through expressing yourself. And number three, the power of taking massive and consistent action. So as you listen to Dawn tell her story of how she went from someone who was at some, who was going through breast cancer treatment and had believed at some level that she was never going to get this, that she was not going to find the level of love she was hoping for, to now connecting to men of her dreams, uh, I want you to not just think about her, but think about how you can translate those three forces into your own life to make whatever you want have happen in your own relationships happen today. Thank you so much, and without any further ado, here's Dawn. Well, I mean, a lot was actually going on in my life. Um, but as far as relationships go, um, I had been through a number of failed relationships and I didn't understand maybe why um, they had failed or uh, why I couldn't meet that person. You know, I had been on a hundred, you know, online dates and first dates and never could connect with anyone. And, you know, um, I was going through uh, treatment for breast cancer at the time. And, um, you know, I just said to myself that this is something I really want in my life and I'm not going to not have it so i need to do something to in order to i have to figure it out i have to figure out why this is not working i, I realize it must be something with me um that i'm not doing right whereas maybe before that i was thinking maybe it was them it was somebody else and somehow i connected with you and you know when i saw you i just said i have to give this a try well, I mean, I first noticed you on Facebook. So you had made a comment on a friend's uh, post. And I saw this man with this huge smile that like just lit up the universe. And I said, <laughs> I have to know who this guy is. You know, who is this guy? And when you and I spoke, um, you just spoke to me with such sincerity. Um, you know, you made me feel really comfortable. And, you know, I just, I really believed in you um, and that you could help me even though I was hesitant uh -huh. right because there's, there's a little there's a part of me that's very untrusting and sure. you know you know should I do this it's like and... a man right <laughs> exactly I mean but even if you were a woman I mean I, I think that's just kind of was part of my makeup before where I was very uh -huh. guarded um, with everyone but um, I mean you're just a special person so it's like you know you could see that immediately I mean I knew you know, the first time that we spoke, I mean, it's just written all over your face, it's in your eyes, it's in your smile, it's just in your presence and how you project that said to me, yes, I need to do this. But I didn't know what you were going to ask of me to do. Uh, okay. And I thought, okay, do I really want to know uh, <laughs> <laughs> what's wrong with me, you know? <laughs> um, you know, could, could I, you know, could I get through it? Uh -huh. You know, could I get through the things that you were going to ask? Um, but, you know, as we started getting through the program, it was, it was like, yes, this is, this is what I need. This is what I have to do. Uh -huh. And I mean, it was so helpful. I mean, I can't even <laughs> tell you how helpful it was. I think in the beginning of the program, when it wasn't about meeting the guy, uh -huh. when it was about looking inside and figuring out things about me. And, you know, as we're going through the, through the work, you know, I'm having these realizations about myself and about things that I had done in the past. Or, you know, that there's that old saying, well, you know, no one's going to love you unless you love yourself. And I was like, oh, I love myself. What are they talking about? You know, <laughs> I, I didn't know really what that meant. You know, and, and and I realized through the work in the beginning, not focusing on meeting the guy, but just focusing on me as a woman and, and maybe things that I do or how I think of myself, I realized that I didn't love myself, you know, and, and, and how, you know, I put myself down and, um, you know, you taught me like how to change that, you know, and how to 
see possibilities, you know, to just in life and in the world, irregardless if, uh, if I met the man or not. You know, so I mean, those were the biggest breakthroughs. It was like after those sessions where I really went back and thought about, you know, just life in general and how I was approaching life, even in other relationships with other people, coworkers or friends or family or, you know, I think those were the biggest moments that I said, you know, this is really valuable work that I'm doing for me in order for to transform myself then eventually into this woman that I became to attract this man. Having the confidence to just be more open. I think I was very guarded and very closed. Um, and I think I, I expected maybe too much. I expected the man to do too much of the work. Um, and, and, and not that the woman should do all the work. I mean, we don't want that either, right? But there, you have to give an opening, right? Yeah. And I think that I was not open. <laughs> You're smiling. <Yes. laughs> you talk to us about this guy. What, 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 who's well, in your life? So, <laughs> so, well, I mean, I have a wonderful man in my life. His name is Pat. And we met online. And just the same as before, I went on a first date with him. Um, but instead of kind of sitting at the dinner table, uh, being guarded and not sharing a lot about myself, you know, as he's conversating with me and asking me questions, I'm just being the, you know, more open and more myself and more relaxed. And it, it, it just flowed. You know, he um, is a very sensitive person as, as I am. And, you know, on our first date, he told me a story and I actually started crying, hmm. you know, and I would never do that <laughs> normally, but you know, and it sounds weird. Like, why would you be crying on a first date? But it was just a story that really touched my heart. Yes. And it was something, I mean, he tells me now that he fell in love with me on the first date because of that, because I was someone who could show emotion and he didn't have that before in his past. Wow. You know, he was with somebody that was very closed, very unemotional, uh, couldn't connect with him on that level and he was just like I just knew you were my girl like you had a heart you had feelings you weren't afraid to show your emotions and that was something that I always tried to hide in the past yeah. so it was very different and you know pretty much since then we've been inseparable <laughs> you know yeah from what I understand you got a chance to meet the family right and they met your family <laughs> and like things are going well right <laughs> Well, things are going so well that, and he is already talking about marriage and ring shopping and, you know, where we're going to live and how we're going to merge our families. And hmm. yes, I mean, we both met our, our, our each other's families and everything went well. And so it seems like super speed forward, but it feels right. I'm not even nervous about it where before I would be have so many concerns like, oh, no you know, be afraid and, but no, it just feels right. Yeah, and I understand, because I mean, you've had the chance to connect to a few guys in your life and, and I mean, like, chance yes. dates and so you have a feeling of what that resonance is and it finally feels like home, right? Oh, absolutely. I mean, that's the, that is the right word and he said the same thing, you know, it's like, we honestly feel like we've met our soulmate, you know, and uh, that's what I prayed for, I wished for, I asked for during yeah. the work that we did and I just, I can't even believe it actually happened. And I tell him too, I've, I've told him all about you and I give you a lot of the credit because I say if I didn't do this work with Vern, I wouldn't be this woman right now who was willing to open up to somebody and be vulnerable and mm -hmm. and I wouldn't have attracted a guy like him. You know, if, if on that first date I would have been that close person, he wouldn't have been interested and then he would have moved on, yeah. you know? So, <laughs> well, thank you for the credit. Yeah. I mean, you it's did all, all because work. of you. You did all the work, my friend. <laughs> Not only is it everything that I wanted for myself in a partner, but it's everything that I want for my son. I mean, this man is an amazing father. He has three sons of his own, and he treats my son the same way that he treats his son. I mean, he hugs him, he kisses him, he tickles him, he plays with him. I mean, he's just an amazing guy. And for my son to have a father figure in his life, a man who whose values I feel are the same as my own, who who you know, is, is going to be able to teach him things that I just can't as a woman. I mean, it's the whole thing is just priceless. I mean, you, you cannot even, 
I, I can't even quantify how valuable you know that this all is and having this person now in my life I mean how it's just it I mean it's a complete what do they say 180 degree change in in how my life's gonna go over the next couple of years it's like I'll have realized my dream like a dream come true really like we we say to each other constantly because he didn't believe it either like we really never thought that this we can't even it's like is this really happening are we really together have we really felt like it, it's unbelievable we can't even believe it you know so and we're both so thrilled you know and, and to have this family yeah so my final final question is what would you say to someone who's listening to us right now and saying oh my god i want to do this but i'm scared i mean like what would you say to her I want oh to do my god yeah <laughs> i would i would say you have to do it i would say you have to do it because it, you know what if i didn't do it i, I would be stuck i remember <laughs> one of the biggest break rules will just go back for a second was the one where you said to me, do you want to be in the same place five years from now? Remember, and we counted and I said, okay, oh, I wait a minute, <laughs> right? And I'm like, okay, wait a minute, 40 step, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52. And I'm, I freaked out and I'm like, oh no, I don't want to be in this position at 52, you know? And I need to make this happen now. And so I would say to anybody, any woman at any age listening, you know, why wait, you know? If this is what you really, really want, if you really want to meet somebody, then do the work now. I mean, I wish I would have met you 10, 20 years ago. You know, we could have done this. I mean, uh, because the happiness and the joy that I have now is, um, I just wouldn't have had it without you, Bern. And I just want to thank you so much. And I, I really hope that, you know, the women watching this will um, just take a chance. I mean, it's it's been so amazing and just so, I don't even have the right words. Thank you, know? you so much, and I'm mean, like so excited <laughs> for that. I mean, like for everything, for how you work, for how hard you work. I know it wasn't easy. I mean, right? No. And, uh, and for trusting in me, and for trusting in yourself, and for making this happen. I can't tell. I mean, I wake up every morning. I remember like how <laughs> challenging it was, and how you, at one point you said, "I don't think this is gonna happen for me." I said, "Yes, it will." <laughs> and you finally yeah. believed me, and then it happened. So. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for doing this work, for showing up, for being vulnerable, and, and for being a true friend. <laughs> love you. Well, thank you, Bern. I love you. Thank you so much.